Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. So we just found the evidence we need to tell the commander about Rezia being the master, the queen in the center of the termite lair, or whatever it is. Um, I do want to find the other two smugglers, though. I think we have both of their keys, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and open the footloggers. I think this was one of the ones, right? Yeah. Mark Noble. Nice, just one more, which I think is over here. There we go. Got them all. Yeah, we can report that to the commander as well. Just want to give yet another shout out to the developers, by the way. I mentioned uh, in an earlier episode, which was actually recorded yesterday, that they've been patching it practically every day. Well, guess what? Today is the day after I recorded that episode, and there's yet another patch. Really, just the most amazingly fast patching I've ever seen. Sir, I've discovered the identity of each of the five sm Oh, wait. This implicates me, doesn't it? Ah, it'll be fine. Right? It'll be fine. I'm so confident it'll be fine that I'm just gonna save. Go on. You present the commander with the scarred opals, each bearing the name of one of the five smugglers. Excellent work, Scal. I'll have them arrested, tried, and executed before the week's out. Now. Banner pushes sealed orders for the blacksmith across the desk. Take these, it's the least I can do. Sir, I've discovered the true identity of the master. Oh? And who is he? Uh, not he, sir. You hand the ledger to the commander. He opens the book and leafs through its pages. Umarezia? It's hard to believe. But there it is, written in her own hand. A pity. Rezia had promised to repopulate her apiary, down in the garden. I do so miss fresh honey. Oh, I can probably do that. I've got all these queens that I've gotten from the, the bees that I've torn down. The bee nests. Beehives. See to it, would you, Scow? Now. It seems your assignments are complete. Well done, Scow. Well done indeed. Short in stature, but not courage. Private Scow, you have served the Red Paw and Doinlin Heights with distinction. I hereby bestow upon you the rank of Sergeant, with all the privileges and duties that entails. Privileges, you say? Like what? Congratulations. I wonder if that actually changes anything. <laughs> Whoops. Is there really, the, really anything extra I can do? Uh, anything I can do for you, Commander? Play. Oh, oh, I fell for it again. Looks like that's it for that, but we did the quest about the apiary. Take a queen to each hive. I need a mature queen, a young queen, and a larval queen, which apparently I have. I've already taken two of the queens to two of the hives? Oh, I remember a while ago, maybe off camera, I just, I, I thought I was just like, absentmindedly interacting with the hives. And I thought I just like opened them or something, but I guess I was actually repopulating them with the queens. But I guess at the time I didn't have the third queen. So I sort of prematurely finished the quest. Most of it, anyway. Let's do the final one. From now on, the beehives will produce honey every 48 hours. Oh, so we have an unlimited source of food. Cool. And they don't sting me. Maybe they know that I'm their parent. Bees recognize their parents, don't they? Wow, look at all these quests. Like, we used to have such a huge list, now there's only three. And two of them are just for outfits. How many completed do we have? I'm gonna count them. Huh, I think we have about 46 completed. 46 or 47. Uh, and we have three here, of course, so that brings us to about 50. 
I think we're actually kind of close to being finished with the game. Because uh, I believe I read when they were talking about the final release of the game, I think they said that there's something around 60 quests now in the final release of the game, now that it's come out of early access. So if we've got about, you know, almost 50 completed, then yeah, I think we're actually kind of close. Still got a ways to go, though. Okay, so I still need to find the rest of the fine outfit. And I still really want to find the, the pirate costume, too. Um, I guess I'm just going to go around, and it, it should be marked on my map. Oh, wait a minute. Why is there a piece of armor marked on the map here? In the commander's quarters? But I already got something from the commander's quarters. Um, let's go check that out real quick. Oh, excuse, excuse me. Is it... here? It's like, through the wall? I'm highlighting interactables right now. Uh... I mean, it says it's on this level, it doesn't say up or down. Um... I think that might be a bug, or it could be like this suit of armor here. But I already have all the pieces? I, I don't know. I don't think that's right. Yeah, even the name of the quest, A Mouse in Rat's Clothing. That's for the guard armor, right? That's not even a quest I even have. A Mouse in Rat's Clothing. No. That was the name. I'm assuming. Of the quest that we completed for the armor. Where is it? Yeah, A Mouse in Rat's Clothing. Yeah, okay, that's some sort of a bug. Um, I'm going to go around to some different zones, take a look at the map, and see if anything is highlighted on it. Haven't found any highlighted places on the map, but I think a pretty good candidate for where it could be, I suppose, is the shore, because we haven't explored this place very well at all. Came here, kind of ran around, all confused during the night, and then just left, so yeah, let's explore it more thoroughly. And we have pine cones now, so we can get into that place that we couldn't get before, because one of those wormy things was there. That leads nowhere, I think. So here's a building that I've already been inside of. So the other building must be that one on the northeast. Um, I don't think I want to drop down there. Such a lush place. been over there. I think that leads down to the cave. That water's so beautiful. just leads to the cave. I don't think anywhere else. Yeah, it looks like it. Did I explore the cave thoroughly? Let's go check. I can't remember. I think it's a shortcut that leads somewhere. Is this the place? Oh yeah, that's a place with a basket that leads back up to the, like, harbor place. Okay. And where's this go? Oh, this also leads to the harbor. Okay. Well, let's check out this other building that has the worm thing inside of it. Also, I think they must have fixed a similar issue to the map issue I was having before, but I don't think they fixed this specific one. Because once again, going between the harbor and the shore, it's, the map is stuck on the harbor now. Ah, well. 
Okay, pinecone. <gasps> Pirate's belt! That's the final piece! Oh my god, we can be a buyer, we can be a buyer, we can be a buyer. That's a perfect for this place, because there's pirates everywhere. And there's a pirate ship nearby. I wonder what the stats are like. Let's take a look. Um, okay, so again, those the stat changes are just for the individual piece, which is not too relevant. We want to see what it looks like overall. So right now with the spy stuff, good discretion, decent sprint and recovery, and pretty good resistance. Very bad resistance. But... Looks like our stamina and sprint is better. Stamina recovery is better. And sprint speed is better. And decent discretion. The semblance to the infamous Captain Powder Keg is stunning. <laughs> Look at us. Ooh, if I look like Powder Keg, what would happen if I talked with the frog now? Hmm. I'm curious. I must produce some sort of a response. Something unique. Yeah, sprint speed is really good. Nice. Ooh. Still don't know what those urns are about. And a bed. I think that's it. Looks like it. Not sure if there's much else to explore on the shore. I know there's the boat, but we already went there and it looks like there wasn't really anything to do. I'm sure there's a quest for it. Don't know if we ever went back here. I don't know where here is. I can go into the water. Uh, I'm scared I'm gonna just like suddenly die. Oh no, there's just an invisible wall. Okay. And then that little passageway between the rocks leads over to the boat. It's a pile of... What is that? First I thought it was fishing net, but I don't think so. It's very colorful. Shell. A shell weathered by the ever churning waters of Lake Valia. Hmm. Okay, well, our list of quests grows ever smaller. It's basically just the main quest and then the thing I need to do the main quest. Still need a fine pair of stockings and shoes. Where would that be? I haven't seen it marked on the map. I have had absolutely no luck finding it. I've visited every single location that I can possibly think of, and I believe I have maps for every place as well. And it doesn't seem to be marked. And I can't think of any place I haven't been to. And I've talked with uh, the smith, and they won't tell me any more information. They have literally nothing to give me. I've, I've, gotten, I've gotten everything from them. Only thing I can think of, and this probably isn't connected, but I want to try wearing the powder keg, uh, the pirate costume. Oops, too close. When talking to the frog, Let's see what happens. Captain, am I dreaming? Is it really you? Of course it's me, you bug-eyed maggot. Oh, Captain, you've not changed a bit. There's something different about you, though. You look... shorter. Because you're sitting down, you fool! I... well, I never could stand up to you, could I? But remind me, what was that song you always used to sing? 
Something, something, something... Maramice. Ah, here it is. Looks like it's heaven in a bottle. That's the one. Now, Captain, what is it you need? Just name it and it's yours. Dang, it looks like I can't ask for the final piece of the costume. Uh, tell me a tale of life on the open waters. Alright, let's see. Now, this happened long before we met. Long before you ate my leg. Back when I was boatswain aboard the Volute out of Port Scarn. Wait, so Powder Keg ate Carol's leg? Well. One autumn morn in the thick fog, we came across a ghost ship, a schooner, adrift on the open lake. I went aboard alone at the captain's request. Mm hmm. The ship was deserted, not a soul on board but myself. The mess deck was dry. But the odor of lake kelp hung in the musty air, and I could almost swear I felt eyes on me. That maybe it was just my fancy, who can say? Anyhow, I gathered up a sack of this and that, things that might prove of use, and headed back up to the main deck. And when I got there, my ship was gone. Just vanished, as if she never existed. She must have sunk fast, her hull pierced by hidden rocks. Or, mayhaps, by the ghosts of that schooner. Schooner? I think it's schooner, isn't it? I was the only survivor. But sometimes, years later, when I was in this port or another, I'd swear I'd see the ghostly faces of my crewmates staring wide-eyed at me from the crowd. But only for an instant. Then, they'd be gone. Hmm. I can ask them to tell me a, a tale again? Is it going to be the same tale? You've heard them all before. Okay. Uh, I'm a bit short of money? <laughs> like you'd have to ask, will five florins suffice? Yes. Here. The frog spits out five florins. Take it all. Now, is there something else? Well, I'm glad I did that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do from here on out to find the final piece. What is it that I need again? I need the stockings and shoes. Yeah, I even went back and looked at the the footage from, I think it was last episode, where I talked to the blacksmith about where to find some of the parts of this outfit. Um, I was able to ask him about the beard and the crown. And, of course, they made the crown, and they told me that I can get the beard from the frog over here, but they didn't say anything about the stockings and shoes. They just marked some places on my map where I should look. And again, I don't see any markings on my map. So, uh, I think I'm going to have to Google it. I'll be right back. So I found someone on the Steam forums saying that the uh, piece that I'm looking for is in the catacombs. They said if you come from the elevator and just go straight until you can't go straight anymore, it should be on a skeleton. This one? Wait, what? Huh. Well, it's no wonder I missed it. Wow, yeah, you... It's a fancy regal armor, held invisibly in some alternative dimension inside of the skeleton. You can't even visually see it, and you can't even interact with this thing until you actually jump up here. That's weird. It really should have been marked on the map. Okay, 
Address the magpie as if you were a king. Oh, that's actually in the catacombs, right? It's the only quest. So... Just... Over this way. Hmm. I'm gonna try to get back there. Remember that area with that gate? Where the magpie showed up? I'll find my way there. So the magpie should be here somewhere. It's massive and I don't see it, which is a little bit strange, but you do see it's... it is marked on the map. Maybe it'll appear if we put on the costume. So let's see how we look. What are the stats like? A really, really good sprint speed. And amazing falling protection. Not too great at other stuff, though. How do we look, though? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, Magpie. Uh, there's no point in opening this, right? I mean, I can just get up around it. Where is the magpie, though? How do we address it? I don't understand. Ah, so it is. Just a quick search on the Steam forum. Yeah, the magpie's on top of the center thing here. Why are they not marked? It's very easy to miss. I mean, you have to deliberately look up quite far to be able to see it. Yeah, this game desperately needs just some more quest markers or some more quest text or something. It's very easy to just have no idea where to go. All right. Wait. I thought before I couldn't interact with these doors. Now they just like magically open? I know I tried to open them before. Huh. What's that down there? Intriguing. Whole unexplored area of the catacombs, I think. Who is this that approaches in the dark? Hmm. Should I try to make them subservient to me? I guess if I'm royalty, right? Bow your head, magpie. You're in the presence of royalty. A king. Your majesty, this is an honor. I am Revik, descendant of Myglar and daughter of Elgum. I am King Nor. King Nor the Ruthless, whose armies almost brought the five rat lands to their knees. Uh, yes. King Nor the Corliss, quick to anger and known never to forgive. King Nor the Rancorous, who visits swift vengeance upon all who displease him. King Nor the Crepuscular, whose victim's cries haunt the dusk and the dawn. The very same, and I am in need of your counsel. And I am honor bound to give it, your highness. But first, would you kindly remove the shade from this dying light and illuminate the hall? Illuminate the hall? For what reason? For what reason? So I might better see your majesty. Give me the answers I seek and I will help you in return. Uh, forgive me, your majesty, but it's so dark. Oh, I need to do that first. And I can scarcely see my codex feathers. Codex feathers? All birds have many different kinds of feathers, each serving a specific purpose. Remage feathers for flight, down for warmth, 
bristles for protection and so on. Magpies alone possess a set of codex feathers, concealed beneath their wings. These feathers are preened in such a way as to function as a mnemonic system, enabling the retention and recall of great volumes of information. Each magpie must take great care to maintain the codex, for it contains the knowledge of their forebears and the history of all things. I love this lore of the magpies. It's so interesting. Who am I to refuse a magpie's request? Sire, you are gracious indeed. So is it... Is that thing a torch? Oh. Is that a formal quest? Uncover the dying light. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. I could throw a pine cone at it, blow it up. <laughs> Would that work? Let's try it. Oh, wow. I didn't actually expect that to work. Oh, such splendor. I trust the light is to your satisfaction, wise magpie. Oh, most illuminating, your highness. How fortunate am I to gaze at last upon your majesty. Tell me, are those diamonds or sapphires in your crown? A little bit of both. And those buttons on your tunic, are they silver or white gold? They're of the finest silver. I could scarcely imagine such wonders. Strange, though. I'd heard your majesty lost his tail at the Battle of Lysands. Oh, I think if the entry's already at the bottom, I think that means I already read the entry. It remains one of the messiest, most complex, most complex, least understood military encounters in recent history, even though it technically involved only two armies in a single engagement. I don't remember reading this. It began as the formal signing of a peace treaty between the ferrets of Saltar and the shrew knights of Threve. Some say the admirably restrained knights lost their temper when the Saltarian emissary was stricken with an uncontrollable fit of laughter as the Threve elder was seized by a salvo of sneezes, caused by the fine-grained sand for which lie is renowned. <laughs> Alas, the truth might never be known, as in a rare breach of... Um, as in a rare breach of guild etiquette, the minstrels on both sides dropped their instruments to join the fray, leading to wildly diverging accounts of the battle. Oh, aye. This is a false tale. It certainly sounds like one. What? Now, Mouse, tell me your true name. I like to know who it is I'm eating. Uh, crap. You dare challenge a king? And what king is that? The king of lies? The king of fools? You gave me your word. I pretended to give my word to a pretend king. Ah, uh, let's just drop it. Um, uh, forgive me, I need your help. And so you thought it wise to try and deceive a magpie? You were either a fool or a thief. I'm no thief. You tried to gain knowledge that wasn't yours to have. But you are no coward. I'm a minstrel. A minstrel? Why didn't you say so? A minstrel is far greater than any king. Oh. Huh. That actually makes some sense, because they prize knowledge. Surely a minstrel would have so much knowledge. Sing something. A song I've not heard before. Something of historical value. And perhaps I'll let you live. Ooh. A song of historical value. 
Oh, and it doesn't let me look through my list of songs. Um, hmm. Well, Rascal's Whirly Gig, that's the one I wrote for Gusto and Fatale. That's definitely not of historical value. I imagine a lot of these would satisfy it. The Maiden Wouldn't Sing probably wouldn't. The Rat with Two Tails also would not. Um, probably neither would Heaven in a Bottle, but I think Murder of Crows maybe? Ballad of the Coward King almost definitely. The Orphan Prince. Hmm, that's certainly something they will not have heard before because I just, we just made it, right? That was made for Silas. Yeah, let's do that. This orphan prince, what else do you know of him? Oh, there's so much to tell. He was raised by mice. Mice? Curious. Tell me more. He has a set of silver rings left by his father pale rings of the Rat Kings of old. Go on. He is sorely ashamed of his father. Then he does not know the truth. Oh, they weren't actually a coward king? The truth, what do you mean? I mean what I say. Very well, minstrel. You may go. Wait, Magpie, please. I came here for your help. I've given you your life, and still you ask for more? I came here to ask you a question. By my reckoning, my debt to you is paid. Did I not show you the respect you are due? Disguised as a king? You tried to deceive me. Did I not pay for my lie with the truth? You merely sang me a song, and I let you live. But perhaps there's a bargain to be made between us. I came to this place only once before as a fledgling, but the tunnels seem to have grown narrower in the years since. I wish to explore the lower hall, but this hole here has shrunk more than the rest. Perhaps you can go in my stead. What is it you hope to find in the lower hall? I recall seeing a tapestry adorned with magpies and a great battle. I want you to bring it to me. I wish to see it again with my own eyes. Very well. Ride the dying light down into the lower hall. Bring back with you the tapestry of the magpie. Ah, there's a question here to ride the dying light, but I'll be burned. I'm not going to say that because I already know these die- Oop. Whoops, I accidentally pressed that. Well, yeah. <laughs> we know that the dying lights burn cool. Level up. Nice. 
Well, that didn't go so well. I accidentally didn't press the sprint button. The eerie flame is quite cool to the touch. Yeah, a whole new part of the catacombs. Let's see, can we throw a stick at something here? Yes. You know, it would actually be faster, no joke, just to walk back up here, and then just fall. I would like to point out that the King's costume has almost maxed out falling protection. I really feel like I should have survived that. It has almost maxed out falling protection. I think it's one from the max. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to look for that tapestry in the lower catacombs.